we're heading south west at the moment. We've left Mount Summers behind. We're on our way towards, I think, a little place called Geraldine, followed by another one called Fairley, Fairley and then hopefully Tekapo and Twizel and catching some lakes on the way. One of the best things, though, about driving down in this part of the country is the roads are really flat at the moment and there is absolutely no traffic, which should make finding free camping spots easy. The last motorhome we had was a Swift on a Fiat Ducato and how does this one compare because what's this one? It's the Mercedes, it's, it's automatic, it seems to have all the um, get up and go that you want, it drives like a car, no complaints, very easy. Here. Well, I thought I'd test out my driving skills in the motorhome. Turns out it's just like driving a big car. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't had any corners yet? Not yet though, it's only been Australian flat. I'll be handing it back to you if it gets complicated. So, Renee, what's the experience like driving compared to navigating? I quite like driving. I'm not used to driving big vehicles though because to be honest my car at home is only sli slightly larger than a smart car. So it is a bit of a different experience driving a big vehicle but it's pretty good so far. Apart from when the navigator yells at me. That yep. I could do without. I think the navigator just used an urgent voice. <laughs> I think it was more of a yell. And saved you from a certain catastrophe. So welcome to Lake Tekapo. Um, never been here before, it's absolutely stunning. It actually would be a really nice place to stay but you can't freedom camp here so we just popped in to have a look. We've got the statue behind me is of Collie the dog because down here, um, we are Mackenzie country aren't we here? So there's a lot of um, steep hill farming and things here and the dogs are really important for the farming, particularly for the sheep so they've erected this statue here to say thanks to the dogs. Church of the Good Shepherd. This is a really interesting one because I've seen heaps and heaps of photos of this um, on Instagram and online and you often see it at night with the Milky Way behind it because the skies here are really dark. When you see it in photos it looks like it's completely isolated on, on its own so it's interesting to actually come here and see that there's a whole lot of houses behind it and it's a really really popular tourist place.
this part of the world is very famous for its clear skies, so uh, anybody who has an interest in astronomy, this is the place to be. Over, over yonder is a big telescope, um, being daytime, it's probably not much use going there, but um, yeah, it's actually a, a heritage park and you can't put lights at night around here. Oh, and where are we now? We are at Lake Pukaki and you can see our van is over there so that's where we're going to stay for the night. And if you follow around here you can see the beautiful colour of this lake and if it wasn't so cloudy down that way you'd be able to see Mount Cook. So we're hoping that at some stage the cloud lifts and we get a good view of the mountains. And Mount Cook is? Highest mountain in New Zealand. Also, also known, known as Polraki. Mm -hmm. 